What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance aka Shadow Boy doing virus. Y'all already know the name, man. I ain't gotta say it a million times. Quite frankly, I'm getting tired of saying it 50 million times. But there is something I do have to speak about that I'm seeing all over Facebook that I'm really getting tired of seeing. And no, the same bitching, but this is just pure fucking fact. And a lot of y'all motherfuckers are probably going to take and block me and do whatever I this. But you know what? I don't give a shit. And y'all want to know why? This ain't that y'all motherfuckers talking about ex And how he wrote songs about, you know, how he was sad and this and that. Wait, you know what? There's a reason for that, dude. There's a reason for that. That's because that's what he felt. Writing music about how he felt, that was his fucking escape. And I'll be all these straight up honest with you. I listen to his music. And I'll be straight up honest with you, man. Like, you know, and I agree with a lot of people. He was the Tupac of this generation. Yeah, he may not have done stuff like Tupac did, but you know what? He saved the lives just like Pac did. And that's what he was all about, is saving lives through his music. So that nobody would go through what he had to go through. And it's something he had to endure. See, y'all got it in his head that he was a whack rapper, that he talked about bullshit and this and that. If you shut the fuck up for five seconds and listen to his damn music, maybe then you'll realize that his lyrics actually meant something. Just like I have songs about how I'm depressed. I get people tell me all the time those songs have helped them. All the time. Like literally almost daily. So all y'all that are out there talking shit about X. Y'all need to stop that shit. Yeah, it's sad that he's gone. But that don't mean y'all got a fucking bash on him. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. X was an artist. The man knew what he was fucking doing. And if any of y'all motherfuckers had any ounce of motherfucking decency in you, you guys would respect the fact that he saved lives through his music, and y'all would respect the fact that he was an artist, and he was brave enough to come out about how he fucking feels. Through his music. Because let me tell you firsthand from pure experience. Coming out about stuff like that ain't easy at all. It's the hardest fucking thing to do. Keeping it bottled up like that, that shit ain't, it's not easy to deal with. But when it comes to people like me and X, you know, we release how we feel through our music. So, y'all motherfuckers that are out there talking shit about X, y'all need to stop that. Because I'll admit, and like I said before, and I'm not afraid to say this, X Tentacion was the Tupac of this generation. And like I said, if you don't believe me, sit down, shut the fuck up, and take a long, hard listen to his lyrics. And don't just sit there and just listen to it. Really pay attention to the lyrics. Pay attention to what he's saying. Because I guarantee you, y'all do that. Y'all ain't going to be talking fucking shit. Y'all wouldn't be sitting there running your fucking mouths. If you truly understood what his lyrics meant and what they stand for. See, that's the problem with all y'all. Y'all sit there and talk shit like... He was some dumb motherfucker. No, the dude was actually smart. But y'all motherfuckers are so closed-minded, saying, oh, he sucks, oh, he sucks, I'm glad he said, oh, he sucks. Nah, fuck that. The dude knew what he was doing. He knew how to take the pain he was feeling inside of him and put that pin to paper and write out his feelings and turn that shit into a song and release it 
in hopes of other people that are going through what he goes through. He had hopes of those songs helping those people to where they don't go through and suffer the same fate and the same shit that he did. So before y'all motherfuckers start talking shit, shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, put on his music, and really listen to his music. Because I guarantee you, if you shut your fucking mouth, close your fucking eyes, and open your goddamn ear holes, and listen for two seconds, y'all will realize that he actually had something to say.